Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. We are doing the weekly oracle card guidance and we're using the Crystal Mandala Oracle by Lana Fairchild. And so I go ahead and make a, a selection between one, two and three and I'm going to go ahead and begin the reading. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we're asking what is your weekly oracle card guidance? What is your weekly oracle card guidance? And for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we have the card number 22 and it's Ascended Master Hilarion in the green Chrysoprase. praise. And the caption here reads discernment. It's very much talking about here about the Ascended Master Hilarion uh, energy frequency, as well as that of the green Chrysoprase praise energy. And the uh, caption here is discernment. So I'm going to just tune in to what it actually means for us uh, psychically, as well as to channel a message for you. Okay, so I feel here there is a lot going on and there feels to me like there's a lot of different realities and a lot of different um, almost universes that are all melded in together and um, knowing what is real or what isn't real is always a question. It feels to me here like you need to differentiate what is real for you or what is real uh, in your context and that, that there's a lot of different types of information coming at you at, at this time. Um, the word discern discernment really talks quite a lot about uh, what it is that we are referring to here, what it is that we need to, to concentrate on. And I think that um, the, the card here is suggesting to you to be more heightened in your awareness of what is actually happening around you as you go along in the in the following days. So I'm only uploading this on probably by Tuesday afternoon. And um, yeah, so I'm going to say it's for the week ahead as in the week uh, from Tuesday, whenever you watch this, or whether it's Thursday, or whatever, for the following week, this would be relevant to you. There's this feel of having to discern between what is real and what isn't real. And also being able to understand what is it that is necessary for you to focus your attention on at this moment. It feels like the energy is all over the place, which is, which I guess it is, you know, <laughs> considering that we're between the eclipses. But I think that um, in this card for you specifically, who who have chosen the option number one, have come here to listen to this message. What is important for you is that in this flux of everything, uh, going topsy-turvy of things not being clear about whether they're up or down. I think what is really necessary right now for you in this week is to ensure that you pay attention to um, to where you're putting your energy, to where you are losing your energy, to where you're leaking your energy and to what you're putting attention on. Okay, so it feels very much like a time where what is the most necessary thing for you to do would be to uh, pay attention to what you're paying attention to and ensure that you're not losing um, energy or losing your mood or, or losing something of your own, losing hope uh, along the way. If you'd like to, you could actually get a green cries of uh, praise and, and keep it with you at this time. I think that um, that it could be quite useful for you at this time if you don't have one you know you don't actually need to buy one you could also just uh take a screenshot of of this video and and use this card um during the week and or also just take a uh, you know download um a picture of a green chrysler face uh from the internet and and just use that as an energy it has it can transmit the same frequency i think the other thing that strikes me here is that there is a sense of um, goodness, purity, well-being, um, all things good, uh, okay? But there's also a sense that with that, at the edges are some things that are not so good, that some things that are perhaps rotting away or perhaps that doesn't need to be in your life anymore. Or perhaps there's something there that needs your attention. Perhaps it doesn't need to be discarded from your life, but perhaps it just needs your attention a little bit. Or perhaps it requires a bit of... Um, like uh, getting rid of the clutter or it, it could be something like getting your house in order. Um, it could also mean something like um, um, getting getting uh, distancing yourself from 
from relationships that no longer serve you. But I don't think it's so dramatic, you know. It's more like a, rather a sense of the serenity that's there um, that you find within a time where there's a lot of changes, there's a lot of things um, that are topsy-turvy. And in all of that, you're finding what is your, tr what is your, I would say, truth. I know that's a bit of a cliche at this moment, but um, you'd find, you're finding what you resonate with ultimately. And being able to stay with that and um, making sure that whatever is around you right now makes sense to you and uh, trying to discern what it is that makes sense to you and not being overwhelmed with uh, a lot of information coming your way, a lot of different ideas coming your way. I think that is the, the most important message for you as you go along in this week. And then, of course, to be aware of what is where your attention is and where is it that you being um you're being eroded on some level or something is working away at you it doesn't have to be something that is very serious it could just be that you know you've you've got some some filing that you need to do that you need to put away and that's been kind of gnawing at you for a while unconsciously uh, or subconsciously rather and it's 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 something like that or you could it could be that you just need to finally post those things off that you've been meaning to do or finally take care of those bills that you've been needing to take care of but there's something that needs to be looked after to be taken care of in this week and it could be anything it could also just be that you know you've been, you've had some thoughts um or some ideas or some feelings that you need to share with a friend and uh, you haven't done that as yet uh something's been uh, sitting quite heavy on your heart and, and you need to say something to somebody but you've been finding it difficult to do that so I think that this is a um, yeah this is an important time in this uh, upcoming week to be able to to do all of that and I'm going to leave the reading there uh, I'm wishing you all very well and I hope that this um, this weekly oracle gui guidance is actually meaningful to you and that it actually helps you in between. All right, many blessings to you all. So for those of you who've chosen the option number two, we're asking, what is your weekly oracle card guidance? And that's just flown out. I think I want to go with that. I just want to see if there's anything else that needs to come out here. So it's uh, option number two. And we're asking, what is it that those of yeah, I've chosen the option number two need to hear in this upcoming week. What is their what is their guidance? Okay, and take this one as well. So this is the one that's just popped out, and this is the one that we are reading here. So for those of you who chose the option number two, we have the number 39, Goddess Sekhmet and the Fire Agate. And we have the number 12, which is Angel Raziel and um, Peter Side. Peter Side, yeah. These are both really interesting stones, actually. And if you just look at how the stones work with each other and what they bring to you, um, it's, it's in itself a reading. So the first uh, card here, it reads Passion of the Lion Heart. And the second option here reads Storm Wisdom. All right. So that's also quite pertinent for this time because, you know, as I mentioned in the previous option, we are between eclipses right now. It's quite a turbulent energy. And here, what these cards are saying in terms of what is necessary for you, in, how, in terms of how you manage this energy, in terms of how you go about in this next couple of weeks, is to have to be brave, to have strength, and to have this fire within you that burns, that encourages this faith, that uh, allows you to um, be able to follow what it is that you believe in and push forward where others may not be able to. At the same time, you have the Peter side, which is tempering the fire agate energy here. So the fire agate is, is it is a controlled energy, but it's an energy that is um, abundant in its motivation, in its fire, in its ability to to uh, create and to, to conquer. And um, what you have here with the Peter side energy is a more softer energy. It's softening the, the fire agate. And it's talking about the storm wisdom. It's talking here very much about being able to understand 
uh, what it is that you're doing, being able to understand the, the larger ramifications of the actions that you take in this week and how that impacts not just you, but also family, as well as ancestral lines, as well as legacy. And I think that here uh, it's talking about having a greater wisdom to be able to act in a manner that benefits all and, uh, and not just in a manner that is um, that you, you're not just doing something because it's the right thing to do, but it's you're doing something because it's the right thing to do and because everyone will benefit from it or everyone will be okay uh, from it and, and taking into account all around you. I feel also here you have the energy of the uh, goddess segment uh, with, uh, with the angel Raziel. And I think that the combination here is very much a tempering. You know, it's like, it's like, um, if you think of goddess Sekhmet as a, as these horses which are just charging forward, and then you have Raziel who's um, um, reining, who's holding the reins and and just kind of holding uh, holding that energy back a bit, or just kind of uh, you know taking time to decide in which direction is this energy going to go into, and not just being impulsive and taking action without too much of thought, but by by really taking time and being really calm when you are taking decisions at this time. So I I, I would uh, suggest that the energy here is very much about. Um, taking action because you have the ability to do so in a place where nobody else has the ability to do it. That's the one thing. And it's necessary for you to then follow that. And it's almost uh, uh, responsible for you to be able to do that. But then also being able to tap into that energy from Angel um, Raziel or the Peter side here and being able to restrain yourself in some way and be able to just calm down and just be able to allow that to uh, guide you so that you have that wisdom that you need in this time of a storm in this time where you feel that you need to go forth and do something or take action you feel quite strongly about something but then there's this other energy here that's saying okay let's just look at what is the damage going to be when we do this and and taking you know and having some damage control in place so i feel like uh, that we, the energy here, it's, it's very obvious to me what it means. I don't know if you feel that way as well, but I feel like it's really very much about, uh, about um, you know, lining whatever action you take with a spiritual purpose and ensuring that whatever, whichever way we go, that we have, um, I wouldn't say a backup plan. It's not, not so much about that, but being able to have the, the foresight as well as the hindsight already being able to have that in place before you make uh, decisions that are going to impact you as well as all of those around you. All right. I'm going to leave it there. I feel that that is what you needed to hear for today. And um, good luck as you go along in the week ahead and many blessings to you all. And for those of you who've chosen the option number three, we are asking, what is your weekly Oracle card guidance? What is your weekly oracle card guidance and so this reading is for you at the time at which you watch it uh at which you watch this video till the time at which you watch the next one <laughs> and it should last you until then sometimes in some cases it lasts a little bit longer So we ask him once again, what is the oracle card guidance for those who've chosen the option number two? I'm just going to give it a bit of a shuffle and see if there's anything else that comes up. Yeah, I think we're going to go with this as well. Wow, the cards that have come out today are quite powerful, I think. Um, so the first option that uh, just fell out was the number 46. And it's the goddess Kali and black obsidian. And the caption reads, sacred revolution. And then the second option is the number 42. And it's the goddess Hecate and Mika. And it's crossroad of destiny. So I feel here that what you need to hear during this week is that regardless of everything that's uh, going on around you and 
regardless of however your whatever your emotions are, whatever you're feeling and uh, what is weighing you down or delighting you, whatever it is that is um, a drawing on your on your heartstrings or pulling you in a particular direction, pulling your attention away. It somehow it doesn't matter. It's all, it's a very different reading to all the others, uh, the other two options that are have been chosen. But this one, it's almost as if, you know what, there is a certain destiny that you have. And regardless of whatever you do, regardless of what you say, there's, this destiny is going to be met. And um, this card talks very much about that. It talks about... It, it gives me a feeling of being helpless against this destiny. And it's not some a destiny that you need to fear. It's not a destiny that you need to um, steer away from. But rather, the reason that they're giving you this information at this moment is because you need to understand that you don't need to expend so much of energy doing whatever it is that you're doing to try to shift this or try to change this. It's going to go in a particular direction, whether you want it or not. And that has already been decided, okay? Now, in most instances, I would say that we have the ability to change this, to shift our our destiny and to move things. And um, this is why we have agency as individuals. Uh, but in this case, they the information that's been given is that it just don't even bother, don't even try, don't even... Uh, try to do that because this is within con the control this is within a particular grasp of something and you need to actually just allow yourself to go with it to go f flow with it not necessarily to surrender to it um, because it's not something that has power over you but to go with it just to flow with it so that you can actually benefit from it as you go along not be kicking and screaming as you are headed in this direction there is also the sense that um great change is taking place on a much deeper level than you even realize it. Um, it feels to me that there could be something that's happening here that you can't quite grasp, but you feel it. You might be dreaming about it. You might be um, waking up in the mornings w or whenever you wake up and realizing that uh, you, you have been in another dimension and you have other information, but you can't quite put your finger on it. And I think here that uh, it's it's something that what they're trying to say is that there is great change going on and it it is a sacred revolution. It is There is the divine here as well. It's not just other factors at play here. There is the divine here at play as well. Regardless of what is happening, regardless of the change, you are going to be you're okay. You're being held within the um, the sacred code of, of destiny um, and it's something that you can't really change or nobody else can change that. It's going to be the way it is. And that is all that you need to know at this moment. I also feel here yeah, that there's a sense that uh, the sacred revolution is going to lead um, to this crossroad of destiny, that it's going to take you there. It's going to bring you to that space. And it feels to me like in this week, as you go ahead, like you shouldn't worry about menial things. You shouldn't bother about mundane things. You can just go along with your life and not have too much of thought about those things. It's almost like you can just go along it unconsciously because what is happening on a deeper level um, is something that's really greater than you realize. And all of what you do in this upcoming week uh, or from the time that you've read this, uh, you've listened to this message is that it's not going to really matter. It doesn't really, it doesn't have any significance really. It's simply a matter of getting through this time. And in that, you're going to be undergoing a sacred revolution. You're going to be undergoing sacred changes, which are going to be happening in you, around you, and uh, with, you know, within you, as well as to those around you. And you're going to find also that it's going to lead you somewhere which has been destined for you or where you are going to find that you meet something on that road of destiny you're going to find that you you come across something it's almost like there's nothing really for you to do here aside from to just go with the flow and then you're going to meet something or something's going to come your way and you're going to have some other knowledge that will be downloaded to you as you you head that way i also want to say here that um 
I think the one thing to keep in mind a bit my mind is that things are not square. Things are not um cut and dry, they're not black and white. They have um many, many different dimensions to them and they have many different meanings to them. And I've often used this analogy with clients as well as here on this channel and with with a lot of people that I've spoken to. But it's like a disco ball, you know, and each little mirror on that disco ball has, reflects a different reality. And it's not just cut and dry. It's not just, you know, you're not just in a room. You have all these different uh, forces that are working against you, beside you, in you. And there's all of that going on. And it feels to me like the one thing that comes out of this whole thing that goes on now for you for the rest, I would say in the next 10 days or so, I, w I would say that the one thing that comes out of this is that you feel that more acutely, that you are able to understand that more and you are able to... Um, to, to understand something that you haven't understood before. And I think that is when, when it when I've talked just now about meeting something on your on your your destiny, at your destiny, meeting something at the crossroads of your destiny. I think it's about you having a realization that of the the different um the the different I wanna say universes almost or multiverses, the different the different um ways in which we can exist and the different ways in which beings exist in the different ways in which energy exists and interacts with each other so there's a sense here that um you being led into that it's being you've been led to understand that better to to uh to to empower yourself through that all right so uh, i think there's really not much that you can do this week aside from go with the flow don't fight it and you know if there's something that's coming up that's quite hideous or quite uh, disturbing for you and you are you need to fight it and you need to 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 repel it then i think just think back to this um this card reading here and uh and try to go with the flow with it on some level you know maybe on a maybe you meditate about it and you decide okay you know on a on an energetic level i'm going with whatever is happening right now but on a physical level or on a material level on a you know in reality what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to file a complaint or i'm going to actually uh, take a stand as far as this is concerned but at some level you need to not be fighting it on a spiritual level on an energetic level i think that you if you fight it it's going to be uh, it's not going to help you in any way. It's just going to exhaust you and and leave you feeling uh, really fatigued by the end of it. So I wish you all the best uh, with regard to this and uh, may you have a very blessed week ahead. I know I've been promising to put out a, an energy forecast. It's just really hard for me to talk about the energy right now. Uh, and so I haven't done it as yet, but I will try to get it out to you at some point. Um, and uh, yes, and I have been working again with uh, videos that are going to be uploaded uh, for the channel. So I think I, what I've, I've decided to do is start uh, uploading videos um, on the 1st of December. And then uh, for the whole month, you will receive at least one video that has been that's a big card reading or you'll get uh, these um, these weekly oracle card readings and as well as um, um, perhaps a meditation or two uh, but that is the plan at this moment it's I've just been very behind with my work trying to catch up with things and uh, feeling very overwhelmed at the, the amount of work I have to to do at the moment and this is why I haven't gotten around to to taking care of the channel and uploading more videos even though I know I've promised you all of that and then also have do recall that I promised it to put up some I Ching readings at some point and I will do that in the following months I think not this year but probably um, sometime during next year in the meanwhile there are quite a few I think about 50 <laughs> almost 50 uh, pick a card readings that I've shot that need to that have been hesitating procrastinating rather I should say to edit them and to upload them uh, just because it takes such a lot of time you know editing each one of these 40 to 50 minute videos takes me about two to three hours and so it it yeah it's just been difficult for me to get it out to you and perhaps I could get somebody else to to edit it for me but the the channel doesn't really make me um 
we money, you know, in a way. And so I, I just I don't really want to invest in it in this uh, by by hiring somebody to do the editing um, from the ads that you watch which I'm grateful that you do, I earn about $20 uh, dollars a month. <laughs> and so it's, it doesn't, you know, it's not li like giving me an income that makes me want to hire somebody to do the editing. So I just prefer to do it when I have some time. And I apologize for the huge delays in the, in getting out the, the, the stuff that I've promised you. Okay, so sending you all much love and blessings abound from Kesman Rising.